not seen a deer yet this morning. It's usually we see at least three, four does. And probably four bucks. And it is still early. I just figure once everything's real dewy right now, and so it's quiet walking around. Instead of sitting up here and waiting for something to happen, we're just gonna walk down this mode path around the corner. There's been a lot of activity up there the last couple of days. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But we're running low on time, so if they're not gonna come here, we're gonna go to them or try to at least. That's the plan. Ground and bound grubs. Never been in here before. It's a completely different part of the lake. We almost drowned on the way in here. The lake is, you can hear how windy it is. The lake is rough. You can get your leg up on that. Jeez. And uh, I saw some deer coming in here. But it's just another spot that looks good on the map. There's definitely been cows in here more regularly than where we've been, I would say. But we've seen deer coming in here, so it means there's definitely quite a few deer in here. And I think it's just another one of those places that gets overlooked and you can't access it unless you have a boat. So it should be pretty relatively low pressure in here, I would assume. Let's see if I can get up here. Storm. I've transported it up. Jeez. Oh, grabbing some gusset when that are just real seat grabbers. And uh, I feel like I've been teleported to the Iowa timber, the Iowa hardwood timber. We're in 
I don't know that they are allowed to run cattle in here, but there's been cattle in here not too long ago. Got a little mixture, got some maples, some oaks, some hackberries, some cottonwoods, looks like. And uh, I don't know what we're looking at for wind speed, but I'd say somewhere around 30 miles an hour plus. Right? We almost capsized in the lake on the way over here. Yes, how much of that phone? Zero. That much. It's bad. And uh, other than that, I feel good about it though. I think, I think deer will still move, it's just that time of year. And we jumped a couple deer coming in here and saw deer from the boat. So, there's deer sign. What? There's deer sign. We've actually laid eyes on deer. And the habitat looks to be pretty good, so. This is my last hunt here. Me and Chase are going to hunt tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening, and they'll probably leave tomorrow night. So, it's been a, it's been a heck of a ride here in Oklahoma. It's been fun. It's been long. It's been up and down. We had some really good days. We had some really bad days. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, we're just, we're just hunting and doing what we like to do, so we can't can't complain too much and if the winds don't calm down we're probably gonna be sleeping in a, on the bank that's a bad deal so hopefully the wind lays down tonight once the sun sets I'm not even gonna look at the wind forecast because I don't want to know right now and we'll let nature take its course that's the plan Well, that's going to do it tonight. Grubs? Comments? Concerns? They're both right. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little bit of a, a treacherous uh, boat ride back on the way in. Um, we were actually warned by a park ranger earlier this week. He said, you're not going to put that boat in the lake, are you? And I'm like, yeah, we're going to put that boat in the lake. And he said that we the, at him. the lake gets too rough for that boat and we dismissed it we dismissed it i'm like come on this is the hen bud <laughs> like we don't it doesn't mess around well the lake is too rough for the boat <laughs> and we've been in this little cove and we really haven't we haven't really dealt with wind like this 30 mile an hour winds and so anyway the, the, there's white caps and they're probably <laughs> three to four foot fake yeah <laughs> it's so bad. and uh on the way in it was it was sketchy but there was never any moments where I felt like we were going to lose it, like it was going to capsize. But... That was in the daylight. It was in the daylight. Now it's going to be dark out. And the waves are going to be coming at us on the way out, so... Anyway, 
we're gonna deal with that when we get there but we had a really good night overall this is a spot we had never been um dropped a pin on it a little a little while ago a couple days ago i was laying in my tent and looked at it dropped the pin on it and we saw a lot of really good deer movement we had multiple does come through there's multiple hot does in here now we had that little spike with the quick little split off his end of his main beam there a little forky stuff is falling off the trees came right out of the stand he's grunting the whole way and then we had a decent buck we didn't get any footage of him but similar to the deer we've been seeing I would say he came down through the bottom and then shortly after that there were some deer that filtered back through and they they went running across and there was one doe that kind of hung around so I'm not sure what the deal was I don't know if he was chasing him or I'm assuming he was this is about it was about where he where I last saw him but other than that I'm not sure what the plan is for the morning. Grubs is gonna have to come up with that, and uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it for us tonight. So, God, I really hope everything goes well on the boat ride home. We have a lot of money at risk in there, stuff that I can't replace. Cameras. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really good swimmer. Grubs and Grubs can't swim very well, so Why he's a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so anyways guys this Oklahoma trip like I said has been up and down <laughs> this Oklahoma trip has been up and down and that's just the way bow hunting can be sometimes but uh, nonetheless it's been it's been awesome we've we've seen a lot of deer I gotta hold on myself. <laughs> we've seen a lot of deer we've had a lot of fun and we hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this series so far this year it's been it's been it's been a heck of a ride we had no clue to expect, and like I said, with turkey season, we had this this plan uh, all mapped out state to state, and it went to it went to heck real quick. And we just started bouncing around from uh, whatever state was coming in next, and that's kind of how this deer season's been. And yeah, we got a lot more to come. I think we're headed to New York next, and probably Virginia. If you guys have enjoyed this series so far, please uh, comment, like, subscribe. We really appreciate it. The channel continues to grow. We're at 4,100 subs, or 4,000 subs yesterday. We're at 4,160 now. So it's just like like we've all, like we've said time and time again. It's it's really special to watch something like that. I just got hit in the head with a stick. <laughs> it's just special to watch something like that grow at such a rapid rate and receive the uh, receive the support that it has. It means a lot, guys. So thank you very much, and uh, you guys have a good night.